This is a pin blank that was given to me in 2021 at the Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering by Steve Keith. Now Steve made this blank by cutting apart an aluminum can, attaching it to a pin tube, and casting it in resin. I do not know what drink this came from, whether it was a beer can or whether it was a soda can. If you recognize this image and know, please leave a comment down below and let me know what beverage that came from. My plan is to make this to a Monarch. This is an elegant Monarch Joshua Band pin kit in gun polish and rose gold from Classic Nib. And just take a look at that kit. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I think this rose gold is really going to set this blank off. This is going to be beautiful when it's put together. Today I'm going to turn this blank between centers. Now I often get asked, what's better, turning on a mandrel or turning between centers? And to tell you the truth, one is not better than the other. I think it depends on the blank that you're turning and whether or not you're in the mood to turn quickly or just relax and sort of enjoy the process. Um, generally, my rule of thumb is if it's a single barrel blank, like this Sierra style that I've got on the uh, lathe right now, I'll turn it between centers. If it's a double barrel blank, I generally will go with a mandrel on most occasions. I have been known to turn a double barrel pin between centers, and really it's just because I wanted to take my time and do a nice job, uh, and I, I didn't want to rush. If you want to turn a little faster, I think it's better to turn both blanks at the same time on the mandrel. But once again, one method is not better than the other. It's just what you're feeling in the shop at the time and what's available to you. And a lot of times, whether you're turning a single or a double barrel pin. The pin has been sanded to 400. Looks pretty good. There's some scratches on it, but we're about to take those out with the micro mesh. Because this is an acrylic pin, uh, I am really going to work the first couple of pads. Normally with a, with a CA finish, I like to just kind of bump it and go on because you don't want to burn through the CA finish. But with acrylic, I really want to work the slurry up and take all of the scratches out of the surface. Micro mesh is absolutely amazing. Take a look at that blank, no scratches. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me in the shop tonight. This pin was an absolute blast to turn. It's really quick. I'm gonna try a little something different with this video. Uh, attention spans seem to be getting shorter. Everybody kind of likes the, uh, the shorts that they do on YouTube. 
I'm not gonna make a short out of this, but I'm just gonna make a short video because I see that my average view time is about four minutes and my average video length is about 12 to 14 minutes. So I'm putting a lot of time into making a long video and most people you know, don't, don't wanna spend that much time watching a video. So this one will have been a short one. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.